What's up everybody, Miami Mike 247, Future Van Lodger Show, and this is exactly what I wanted y'all to see. As you see, we're here at the train station, and that's called the Metrolink train. And the reason why I wanted to show you guys that is because across the street is all this parking. And even here, now that's a train, it's a day train, but it goes into the night. But what I wanted to show you guys is all these cars parked here. And the reason for that is because with this train, you can park here all day and all night, or for as many hours as you need. Yes, my wind, my front windshield is dirty. I gotta wash it. <laughs> I won't be here long enough to bother washing that window. But as you can see, you can basically park here all day and all night. And uh, even at one of the stops for this train, I wound up taking a trip up to San Francisco. Oh, goodness, I hit that bottom real quick. I wound up taking a trip up to San Francisco and I wound up leaving my car there for three days. And I asked the security guard before I did, I said, hey, you know, I'm taking off on a, I'm leaving on a jet plane up to San Francisco. Can I park here? As you see, people are going to their car, this whole parking lot right here, Metrolink parking. They're parking out on the side. And he said, yeah, he said, you could, you could leave it there the whole weekend. He said, they really don't bother with you unless you've been there for a week. This is an IHOP. You can park at an IHOP, 24 hour parking. So. Uh, you know, I had a discussion on one of the Facebook pages today for Van Life about places to park. Folks, there are there are definitely places that you can park. You just need to think outside of the box when it comes to these things. So, I wanted to post that video. Hope this helps. Uh, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Miami Mike 247, host of the Future Van Lodgers of America show. Again, there's some really free parking right there as well. So. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye now. Hope this helps.